I wish you a merry vlogmas, I wish you a merry vlogmas, I wish you a merry vlogmas just kidding I hate you. I almost like trip. Wow, look at him, he looks so cute. I'm crazy. I literally talk to him like a baby, but he doesn't even have ears. So why do I talk, why do I talk to him? I talk to waffles too. Snakes definitely don't have ears. <laughs> so, I don't know. Good morning everybody and welcome to vlogmas week four it's the 21st of december it's 11 a.m right now and i just got out of the shower just straightened my hair which feels like the first time in so long look at how long my hair is now she is at my chi chi look at that i don't think my hair's ever been this long in my entire life like if you ever see my hair long in my past pictures like from a long time ago those are all extensions anyways i'm just gonna quickly get ready and do my makeup because i needed to go out and go grocery shopping i need to go get waffles and carl some food which we all know what that means <laughs> i'm gonna go try to find some gifts for francesco oh and then i also want to get myself a kettle because i don't know how i've gone this long without getting a kettle but i need to get a kettle so yeah i have some stuff to do um i'm not gonna lie i'm not really in the best mood today like i don't really feel like vlogging today or at all this week to be honest um oh no Oh, that is a problem. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm gonna get some more of this when I'm out too. I'm pretty sure you guys already know, but like COVID is just getting fucking crazy in the UK. Like pretty much all these countries have banned the UK from even visiting. There's like crazy lockdowns right now. Like fortunately, I'm not in tier four, which is like the worst like that's where like all of the 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 variant cases are but yeah it's just um it's just kind of brought me down a little bit because francesco was supposed to come see me during christmas he was supposed to be coming on wednesday the thing is though is like even though it's legal for him to come because i live by myself and he would be in my support bubble i don't know like i was just talking about it and thinking about it and looking at the news i just feel like it's a really bad decision to be traveling five to six hours to come see me like on a train surrounded by people like i just think it's a really bad idea so we've decided to cancel those plans unfortunately oh my god you know i just realized i haven't seen francesco for four months and i haven't seen or hung out with anyone for like three months fucking crazy so i guess it's just me and carl and waffles huh i'd appreciate if you stopped pretending we're friends so rude but i really like having a platform for this because i know like there will be a lot of people that are going through this too and i think there's comfort in knowing like you're not alone it's just like one of those things like we're all in this together <laughs> even with all that said i am still going to try to make the best of this christmas i'm still gonna try to enjoy it as much as i can because i know it's not like a forever actually fuck i'm not gonna say shit i am jinxing it for all of us holy snap people i'm knocking on wood right now i'm just gonna try to make light of a bad situation i'm gonna try to make your day better if you're also going through the same thing or you can't see your family i am going to try to make your day better through this video so I'm going to spend the next three days doing stuff and we'll just see how this vlog goes. Hey guys, so I'm about to head out into the dangerous world. <laughs> I actually haven't been out for like two weeks, so this is gonna be really weird. I haven't been out since that vlog. My last vlog where I was shopping for stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over onto my iPhone 
and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So busy you guys I didn't even really shop I just like ran into a store ran out and then on my way home I grabbed a gingerbread latte from Cafe Nero oh also I picked up this the Stroop waffles if you guys been watching my vlogs for a long time you see this like every single day when I went to Starbucks I did a food shop and then I did a little shop for me plus Carl and waffles so yeah while I was out I picked myself up some foundation so I picked up the Fenty Beauty foundation which is the one I used to use all the time the pro filter hydrating one I got my concealer which is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate in C2 and then at Boots as well I went to Max Factor and I picked up this red lipstick called Ruby Tuesday like I really wanted to get like a Christmas red lip um, obviously I can't really try the lipstick so I kind of just took a chance and got this one at the grocery store I just got my normal stuff minus I got some cheese because I'm gonna have like a little cheese platter for Christmas I got a big chocolate cake for Christmas as well okay so this is gonna be a really really short haul um but the first thing I got for Christmas are pigs and blankets which is a very, very British thing. And I got bacon too. Got some hot chocolate so I can cozy up and watch Christmas movies all day. Got some green onions, parmesan, soy sauce. Got some vino. This is more for Christmas day when I talk to my family. Okay, so I gotta make sure I have some vino. Got some tortellini for Christmas and Boxing Day because I don't really want to cook. I just want to have leftovers. Then I got some beans. Another super British kind of breakfast. I just got some soup and I got some bananas. Okay, so I just tried the lipstick. I don't think I really like it. Cute like a little lip stain. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this for the first time in a long time. I've never had the cafe meal ones. Hmm. Do you like the tree? Do you want to come off? I hate it. Take me off. You did a terrible job with decorating it. Chameleons are like turtles. They're so slow. I'd rather be slow physically than mentally like you. guys so it is the 24th of December it's Christmas Eve and um, do you remember at the beginning of my video when I said oh my god this vlog is gonna be so boring well I remember my grandma saying to me never complain if you don't have much to talk about because things could get worse so last night when I was putting Carl to bed he was completely fine and then I brought him over to the plant I was cleaning his tank I went to go bring him back to his tank after I was done and he had his one eye closed which was really weird because it just happens like real quick Carl I just randomly started doing this Carl this eye's okay what's wrong with that eye? so I just called really quickly to see if they have any appointments that are open with my vet um, so she said she would call me later Just write that down. Oh my god, I completely forgot to tell you guys. You want to see what was delivered in the mail yesterday? Ta -da -da! I have a kettle. Finally, and it's so cool too. Look. Ah! So before we even continue the day, 
It is our last day opening up this guy. Oh. And I'm really sad because I've really enjoyed eating Reese's Pieces every day for breakfast. So I'm gonna really miss you. Not gonna miss you though. You kind of scary. I would like to say white chocolate because that's what they want you to think. But I genuinely feel like that's gonna be dark chocolate. <gasps> no! Oh yeah, it's the white one. Okay, well I'm gonna make myself a coffee and eat this. Oh, and a banana. We gotta stay. We gotta stay new. Nutrition fighter. Get away from me. Watching you eat is repulsive. Wait, I'm just sitting there. <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? Okay, guys, so I've changed my mind. Decided I'm not gonna bring him to the vets because his eye actually looks fine. He's not closing his eye, he doesn't seem like he's sick, so. I think maybe he just got something stuck in his eye, but I told the vet that if I noticed anything, I would definitely be bringing him whenever I can get an appointment. I don't want to stress him out for no reason and bring him all the way there if he's actually not sick. So I'll just see how it goes. I'll just keep an eye on it, but fingers crossed he's okay. Okay, so I just finished my makeup. Look at this red lipstick. Oh, it's a little bit like gotta fix her. I completely forgot that I had this lip color called Bite Me by Kylie Cosmetics and I completely forgot I had it. I bought it last year and it like looks a lot better than the freaking Ruby Tuesday thing that I bought. The day is almost over and I feel like I haven't even vlogged a lot. Actually no I'm not gonna complain. It could have been a lot worse. <laughs> we could have had to bring him to the vets but I think I'm gonna make myself a little appetizer so I'm gonna make myself some cheese and honey and some tea and then around like four o'clock i'm gonna start cooking so i'm gonna be cooking a lot of food you guys because i bought double the food because i thought francesco was gonna come eat this with me so i have like two turkeys to cook oh my god that's a lot of fucking turkey and um, i'm gonna just cook them all actually i shouldn't have frozen this i'm just thinking i could have eaten this another time but I think turkey's good for like five days. I'm literally gonna cook a feast. Like you're gonna be shook at how much food I'm gonna cook, but I'm literally just gonna eat leftovers for like four days. Or at least that's what I'm hoping. I do eat a lot of food, so it could only be like two or three days. So I'm gonna try my best. So hopefully this little mini oven that I bought can do the job. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know, I'm gonna have to see. Did I already mention this? I've never actually had a break over Christmas, like, since I've been working. This is the first year where, like, I'm actually not working a part-time job because of COVID. So I actually get a break. Like, that's so weird. So I'm gonna start with the turkeys first. You know, I don't really like turkey. I just got this because of Francesco. Okay, so what did it say? Remove sleeve and film lid. Okay, so this is the sleeve, I'm guessing. Cook for an hour and 10 minutes or until the juices run clear when pierced with a thin skewer. Baste occasionally. Oh, snap, I don't have a baster. I can just use a spoon. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the instructions on the side because I don't trust myself. So I'll keep that over there. Oh god, look at this little oven. Come on, little oven. I believe in you. Carl, did you just fart? Didn't buy any crackers or anything. Probably should have, but whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mmm, you guys, this is so good. You never had this before? Bitch, I thought this was weird too. When Francesco told me about this, I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. Thank you, people from Spain, I think. It's people from Spain that invented this beautiful masterpiece. Oh my god, that looks good. I don't know if this is done. Like, how do you know? What does it say on here? 
If the juices are pink, continue cooking for a few minutes. Okay, let's test. So what am I supposed to do? Just pierce it? Oh, that looks cooked, yeah. If the juices are pink, right? It's not cooked. Oh yeah, that looks good. Hey, that looks good to me. Let's check this one. Yeah, oh my God, I cooked my first turkey. <laughs> oh my God. By myself, this is my first turkey. It's probably dry as fuck, but it's the action of me doing it by myself that counts. This is gonna last me for a fucking week. I'm gonna be having turkey sandwiches for lunch. I'm gonna be having turkey dinner for the next three to five days. <laughs> Actually, I think I, don't, I can only have it for four, so four days. Now let's start with the rest of the dinner. I gotta go wash them first. Give me a second. I'm gonna have a tiny glass of wine, just a tiny bit. I'm saving this mostly for tomorrow. I talk to my family, so I don't wanna have a lot. I'm just gonna have like a tiny bit now, a tiny bit with dinner. Just to get the Christmas mood. Merry Christmas, everybody. So today I'm gonna be having some wild sage and buttered onion stuffing. Oh my God, you guys, that smells so good. Oh. Yes, bitch, yes. Need the pigs and blankets which are sausages wrapped in bacon. it didn't really look like it was cooked but I feel like it's cooked now so I just recooked that so the last step I'm gonna do is the Yorkshire pudding and then we can sit down watch it's a wonderful life let me know down below what's your favorite movies to watch for Christmas oh my oh god oh god, <laughs> oh god I dropped all of them on the floor quick five second rule what was I saying before oh yeah what are your favorite to watch during the holidays like ones that you have to watch i don't have any but i feel like ones that make me feel the most festive are deck the halls christmas with the cranks i like it thick i like it chunky chunky Et voila, here is my Christmas dinner. I'm really proud of this. There's some gravy on this bad boy. Oh yeah. Okay, so for tonight, I'm gonna be watching It's a Wonderful Life. Okay, that doesn't look as cute as I thought it would be, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh my god, it smells so good. I just ripped off my lashes because I'm ready to go to bed. To be honest with you, it just doesn't feel like Christmas. You know, I've tried 
so hard this month to make it feel like Christmas. I decorated, put up a tree, made myself Christmas dinner. I've been watching Christmas movies nonstop and it's just like family and friendships. Being around people is so important. Like it's way more important than all of this stuff. I just wanted to say I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I didn't do much but I hope that my videos calmed you down in some way or made you feel a little bit more festive or made you feel a little bit better about being by yourself for Christmas or not seeing your family which I know a lot of people watching this video are definitely going through that you know either way though I hope you're having an amazing Christmas I hope that you've made the best food i hope that you're eating dessert i hope you're watching all your favorite movies and i hope that you just forget about this year for a little bit i just really hope that I have the best fucking year i'm not gonna predict the future because i did that on my last fucking vlogmas video where i was talking about how 2020 was gonna be such a good year and just all this stuff <laughs> and it didn't work so i'm not gonna say anything i'm not gonna say anything about 2021 i don't want to see any of y'all say anything about 2021 i saw this some um, really funny thing on tiktok wait i wonder if i can pull it up for you it's really funny and i don't want to hear a single one of you motherfuckers yell 2021 is gonna be my year we're gonna walk in real fucking quietly don't touch nothing and we're gonna see how it goes okay we're gonna see how it goes <laughs> i'm not predicting anything but yeah um thank you for watching my vlogmas this year even though it wasn't really like vlogmas it was just weekly videos um but i hope you enjoyed regardless and again i hope you guys have an amazing christmas i hope whatever you celebrate whatever you're doing is amazing and i just wish you the best for 2021 and whatever you've been through whatever you're going through i just know that things fucking not gonna jinx it <laughs> you gotta just keep moving forward and you never know what life will throw at you good and bad so you always got to be here for the good that's a good quote to leave off yeah that's a safe quote <laughs> okay anyways um i guess i will see you guys next year then i'm not sure when i'll be coming back I just feel like i need a little bit of a break because i was feeling really burnt out in november and i've really lost my creative spunk and i know youtube is a very very easy thing to do but it's hard when you feel burnt out and it's hard to be creative so i'm gonna just definitely take a break and when i see you guys again in 2021 i hope that i'll be recharged refreshed so thank you guys i love you and i will see you next year bye i love you i don't want to say bye yet okay bye <laughs>